Hey y'all, this is a video on making a bar graph in 7th edition in Sheets. Um, so for a bar graph, what you'll need are the means for all of your groups. Um, for this class, you have two groups. If you did a dependent samples t-test or you did an independent samples t-test, um, then this video is for you. So first of all, you need to look at your data. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you an example in Jamovi. And so I, again, we're not going to make the graphs in Jamovi because I'm not a fan of the graphing capabilities, number one. Um, but also, because this is a group project, you'll be able to collaborate more easily. And then you can link this directly into your Google Doc for your final report. Um, so here you can see that I have an independent samples t-test. Uh, this was for the relationship between gender and job satisfaction. Um, so that's this GJSS total. That's the general job satisfaction scale score. And my grouping variable is gender. My alternative hypothesis was that women, the mean of women for job satisfaction, would be less than the mean of men for job satisfaction. And you can see here that I have my group descriptives. So if you don't have this in your analysis, you're going to need to go here and click on descriptives so that that pops up there. And this is what I want is the mean. So I need to take the mean of three, uh, 36.83, and I'm going to round up um, for women, and the mean of 39.09. And I'm just going to write that into my Google Sheet. So if you set this up with the labels that you want to use, that'll make the most sense. So I'm going to say um, women and men. And I'm going to put the mean. So for women, the mean was 36.83. And the mean for men was 39.09. Um, you could go ahead and put uh, job satisfaction if you want to here. But really what you're going to do is you're going to uh, create a bar graph. So if you create a bar graph highlighting, um, so click and hold, select all of that. If you go to insert and chart, it's going to automatically think, oh, you want a pie chart. A lot of times Google will do that. If you are a student in my class, you know that I hate pie charts. Um, I don't think that they do a very good job most of the time of representing relationships. And so we are going to use a bar graph um, would be appropriate for this uh, example. Pie charts are really what you would use if, like, let's say you just wanted to represent um, the percentage of men versus women. But again, I hate them. So just don't do it. Not for this class. Uh, so you can see that I... Let me go through that. Um, I just chose a different chart. So you can pick a column chart, which is what we're going to use. Um, you're not going to use a, like you can use a, a horizontal column chart, but we're not going to do that. So we want to click this column chart. You should have two columns. Each column is going to represent the mean. Um, there's some different information here that you're not going to do anything with, um, but we do want to edit this to make it APA style. So first of all, um, we want to make some edits to a couple things here. Um, I want you to take out this chart title. You're actually going to put the title above your graph. So you just want to click on it and then delete it. Um, you can find that in this chart and axis titles right here. So you can go to chart title. And if you were to type something in, it would look like that. We do not want that though, so I'm going to delete it there. However, I do want access titles. Uh, so you can see that job satisfaction is already listed here, and that's great. I do want that as my um, as my y axis. That's my dependent variable in this example. Um, and so if you click there, you can see job satisfaction. Um, you could change it to say score. You can name it whatever you'd like to. It should be in title case. So the first word is capitalized. Um, and then we need to add some other things here. So we have category names, but we need to add our X axis title. So I'm going to go to um, horizontal axis and I'm going to call this gender because that's the name of the variable. These are just two groups within that variable, two levels of the variable gender are women and men. I also want to add my axis lines. So if you click on these horizontal lines, 
uh, and then you can click on major grid lines. It's going to get rid of them and then click major ticks and that adds them back. And then I can do the same thing and add a horizontal axis line here. So under grid lines and ticks, I'm going to go to horizontal axis and I'm going to click major ticks and there you go. You can change the ticks. So um, if you don't want to cross there, you can say none. And then that way that little cross goes away. Uh, but that's a lot cleaner already, right? Uh, some other things that you should be aware of. You want to make sure that this starts at zero so that you're not truncating your graph uh, because it can misrepresent your data. So you can set the minimum to zero if it's not at zero. Um, you can also set the maximum. Uh, so like you would not want to do this, but just as an example, it changed the scale of it. Uh, but really, you, you should let it do an auto for the maximum there. Uh, you can change your, if you go to chart style, you can change the font for all of it. So you can go to Serif if you're doing Times New Roman for your final paper. So it should match whatever is in your final paper. And then um, let's go ahead and add, I'm going to add some series labels. Uh, you don't have to do this, but you can add data labels. And I like to put the position as outside end. And so this is the mean of job satisfaction for women and the mean of job satisfaction for men. And you can also change the font color. So I would make that black. Um, for seventh edition APA, you can use color if you want to, but you could also change the color uh, and make it like gray if you wanna make it more boring, or you can make it you know, different colors, but they should be meaningful colors. Uh, please do not make a 3D chart. I will not be happy with you if you make a 3D chart. Um, or if you have neon colors, that's just not necessary. So um, please do not do that. Uh, one last thing is I'm gonna click back into this because I noticed that my series labels or my, my um, data labels are a different font and I wanna make that the same font. So I, if you double click on it, it'll pop up and I can just change my font. So see how it says Roboto? I'm gonna change that to Serif as well. So they should all match. That is an APA style bar chart. Now, the cool thing, and one of the reasons why I recommend that you do this in sheets, if you go to the little three dots here, you go to copy chart, um, we can start a, let's say that you're putting this in your, um, in your Google doc, and you will need to copy this into your results section, but I'm gonna open a new Google doc here. So let's do, there we go. You can copy it. So I copied it. And then if you paste, so um, command or control V and then paste, you can link it to your spreadsheet. So if I paste that, the nice thing is that here's this graph. You're gonna um, put your figure title there. So I can go ahead and put, this is figure one. And I'm going to give it a title. So I'm going to say um, job satisfaction for men and women. Um, let's actually say bar graph. And I'm using a uh, title case again, bar graph, showing the relationship, nope, difference in job satisfaction between. Um, I'm going to go in the order that the graphs are women and men. And then you're going to make this double spaced. Double. This is going to be italicized. I'm sorry, bold. This will be italicized. And I want this to all be the same font. So I'm going to put this as Times New Roman. Um, so now we have this set up in our, um, in our document. And the cool thing is that let's say you get feedback from me on something and you realize, oh shoot, we actually analyzed this wrong and our mean is actually 35.23. If you edit it here, it's gonna automatically update in your graph. And then when you go to your document, you can click update and it updates it. Isn't that wonderful? So um, that is how to make your bar graph and copy it into your document. Um, so if you have any questions, make sure to let your TA know or let me know if you have any questions.